so we're involved in the install here. It's a lot of wires. A lot of wires going in the dash, coming out of the dash. Not a lot of space behind the dash to work with, as you can see. So we're going to see if this fits. I got everything wired up. I tested uh, the radio. It does turn on. All the speakers work. So now we're hooking up all the antennas. We have the GPS antenna there. We've got a ra another antenna right there. We also wired the microphone to be up here. A pillar is down. So we'll put it back up. We shouldn't see any wires. So here's the microphone. Here's two USBs that I could wire in to put somewhere in the dash. This is for the reverse camera. This is the actual harness. I got these just butted off I don't the vehicle doesn't have an amplifier there was a base radio that it came with so there's certain things here that you may or may not need so yeah like parking brake yeah I don't have a parking brake. Oh, I have a parking brake but I don't have a warning light for it so won't need won't be needing that wire so let's hope it fits This is Pioneer's AVH 3400 NEX. This is an in-dash, one-din, AM, FM, CD, and DVD receiver with a 7-inch motorized flip-out touchscreen with detachable face security. The AVH 3400 NEX is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Apple HomeKit when connected to a compatible iPhone using a wired connection through USB. The AVH 3400 NEX is also compatible with Android Auto and Google Assistant when connected to a compatible Android phone with a wired connection through USB. The AVH 3400 NEX has three sets of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers and is backup camera ready and Sirius XM ready. The USB port can be used to connect your phone and playback MP3 or FLAC music and MP4 videos. The system features built-in Bluetooth for both hands-free calling and wireless streaming audio. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. All right. We'll start off here with the, uh, the wire harness. And we use the wire harness here to connect power, ground, speakers, and so forth to the vehicle. Next up, we have some uh, various mounting screws. Some mounting screws. Next we have the Bluetooth microphone. Now the Bluetooth microphone here comes on a wire about 10 feet long or so for a very flexible installation. Then we have a USB extension because the USB port is on the back of this uh, in-dash receiver. We include a USB extension in the box to bring the USB port up into the passenger compartment. Next we have um, the wireless remote control. There's the wireless remote control included in the box. Okay, here is the uh, quick start guide and installation guide. You can download a complete copy of the owner's manual from pioneerelectronics.com. And finally, we have the warranty card. 
There's the warranty card. So let's pull the receiver up out of here. The AVH 3400 Next features a fully motorized 7 inch flip out touchscreen. The volume control is here. And the home key and display keys are here. This is the voice activation key. The CD and DVD player is just below the motorized screen. You'll do most of your interaction with the in-dash receiver with the 7 inch touchscreen. And of course, detachable face security. The back panel of the AVH 3400NX starts off with the USB port that can be used for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. The USB port can also be used for music, movies, and still images through a USB thumb drive. And remember, we include a USB extension in the box to bring that USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle. The yellow port is for adding on the optional AVIC U280 navigation system from Pioneer. You'll use this port for the optional SXV300 tuner from Sirius XM. The Bluetooth microphone included with the in-dash receiver will plug in right here. And this jack can be used to operate your steering wheel controls through a third-party adapter. The AVH 3400NX has three sets of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers. They can be set up as front, rear, and subwoofer out, or for more control and better sound quality, high, mid, and low output. Here is the audio and video RCA input and RCA video output. The brown jack here is the dedicated backup camera input. This is the audio and video auxiliary input. This is where you'll plug in the power and ground wire harness connected to the vehicle. And finally, the AM FM antenna from the vehicle will plug in right here. And that is Pioneer's AVH 3400 next and what's in the box. This is Pioneer's AVH 3500NEX. This is an in-dash, one-din, AM, FM, CD, and DVD receiver with a 7-inch motorized flip-out touchscreen with detachable face security. The AVH 3500NEX is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Apple HomeKit when connected to a compatible iPhone using a wired connection through USB. The AVH 3500NEX is also compatible with Android Auto and Google Assistant when connected to a compatible Android phone with a wired connection through USB. The AVH 3500NEX has three sets of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers and is backup camera ready and Sirius XM ready. The USB port can be used to connect your phone and playback MP3 or FLAC music and MP4 videos. The system features built-in Bluetooth for both hands-free calling and wireless streaming audio. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. All right. All right, the first thing we have here is the wire harness. And we use the wire harness here to make all of the electrical connections from the in-dash receiver to the vehicle. Uh, those connections are power, ground, uh, speakers, all of those connections. Next up, we have the USB extension. Now, please remember the USB port is on the back of this in-dash receiver, and so we include a USB extension in the box so you can bring the USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle, and you can plug in your phone for either Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Next up, we have... Uh, the Bluetooth microphone. 
Now the Bluetooth microphone here is used for making hands-free Bluetooth phone calls and it comes on a wire about 10 feet long or so for a very flexible installation. Next we have some uh, installation screws and we have a wireless remote control. There's the wireless remote. So let's pull the uh, receiver up out of the box here. When we pull out the receiver, we get the quick start guide. There's the quick start guide. And please remember that you can download a complete copy of the owner's manual uh, in PDF form right onto your phone from pioneerelectronics.com. And don't forget the warranty card. Okay. The AVH 3500 Next features a fully motorized 7 inch flip out touchscreen. The volume control is here, and the home key and display keys are here. This is the voice activation key. The CD DVD player is just below the motorized screen. You'll do most of your interaction with the in dash receiver with the 7 inch touchscreen, and of course, detachable face security. The back panel of the AVH 3500NX starts off with the USB port that can be used for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. The USB port can also be used for music, movies, and still images from a USB flash drive. And remember, we include a USB extension in the box to bring that USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle. You'll use this port for the optional SXV300 tuner from SiriusXM. The yellow port is for adding on the optional AVIC U280 navigation system from Pioneer. The Bluetooth microphone included with the product will plug in right here. And this jack can be used to operate your steering wheel controls through a third party adapter. The AVH 3500NX has three sets of 4 volt RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers. They can be set up as front, rear and subwoofer output or for more control and better sound quality, high, mid, and low output. Here is the audio and video RCA input and RCA video output. And the brown jack here is the dedicated backup camera input. This is the audio and video auxiliary input. And this is where you'll plug in the power and ground wire harness connected to the vehicle. The AM FM radio antenna from the vehicle will plug in right here. And that is Pioneer's AVH3500 next. And what's in the box? This is Pioneer's AVHX 7700BT. This is an in-dash AM FM CD and DVD receiver in a one DIN size with a 7 inch motorized touchscreen and built in Bluetooth for both hands free calling and wireless streaming audio. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. Okay, we have a wire harness here. Wire harness for connecting power and ground and speakers and so forth to the car. We have a USB extension because the, uh, the USB port is on the back of this head unit. And this USB extension is about four and a half feet long. We have a wireless remote control. There it is, wireless remote control. And we have uh, some installation screws. We have a Bluetooth microphone. And this Bluetooth microphone is on a wire that is about 13 feet long for a very flexible installation. We have the uh, warranty card, and here's the owner's manual. Okay, let's get the head unit out of there. The front panel of the AVHX 7700BT has the 7 inch motorized touchscreen right here. This is our CD and DVD slot right here. This is the button to motorize the screen. Our home button is right here, and a large volume control over here. This is a detachable panel right here in the middle. The back panel of the AVHX 7700BT 
has our USB port right here. And remember, there's a USB extension included with this head unit. The yellow port right here is where we can add on Pioneer's AVIC U260 navigation system. We have two black plugs right here. The larger one is for adding on our steering wheel controls through a third-party adapter. And the second smaller one is for our Bluetooth microphone. Over here is where we would plug in the wire harness from the car. Right here we have the AM FM antenna input from the car and this is the auxiliary input. This yellow pigtail here is our video output. On this group of pigtails we have audio and video input and we have backup, dedicated backup camera input and three sets of RCAs for running external amplifiers. That is Pioneer's AVHX 7700BT and what's in the box.